Hello and welcome to the World War I experience. Yada yada yada, let's just get this over and done with. What's this stuff? That's some fresh trench foot. Trench foot basically develops when the duck boards in the trench over flooded and then your socks got all wet and pruney like when you go in a bath. And basically it all their feet became kind of got gangrene all over them and some people even lost their toes because it got that horrible. Yeah. So anyway, let's get to the greatest part, the Hall of Heroes. Wow, these guys are actually heroes? No, we couldn't find any proper heroes. Let's move on. Please don't touch the props. Oh, okay. Now we move on to the most accurate trench ever. Neat. Please no flash photos. Sorry. Please tell me this isn't real wee wee. No, it's just colored water. The reason we have the wee wee here is because it re resembles the way soldiers used to use it. Sometimes they used to wee on their boots if their boots were too hard. Or maybe they just wee on their guns if they got overheated. It's kind of disgusting if you ask me. Oh, and, uh, look out for rats, too. <laughs> the next item we have here is a little chest, which has lots of items in for some reason. And over there, we have a dirty whole hobbit-style thing that soldiers used to sleep in. Wait, that's my bed? So any of you people hungry? Well, you're not going to be once you find out what's on the menu. The soldiers only used to eat this bully beef thing, which is a canned and horrible. It's actually quite nice nowadays because it's called corned beef. But actually, uh, they also used to eat lice if they were lucky, and also maybe a rat or two. Finally, we have the gun experience. <laughs> Cough, cough, ah. Sometimes soldiers shot themselves to get out of war. And maybe, if they were even lucky, they might have been shot themselves by an actual German. And, well, the, let's just say that the bigger the weapon, the more likely it's going to kill you. So, I'd be careful around guns, kids. Now, please continue on to the gift shop. I love you, museum merchandise. I'll probably just throw it away anyway.